Masterpiece version 10 is a full-blown point-of-sell system where you can sell items and it will remove those items from your inventory, attach it to the customer, and then you can print out reports such as sales reports, tax reports, uh, summary of inventory by sold reports. Uh, to sell an item, you'll go to the Sales and Purchase tab and then the Sales button. You'll get a grid similar to the context in the inventory, and on the grid you can sort by title, by customer, transaction number, or you can search by clicking on the filter and uh, typing in what it is you want to search for. You also have some options of exporting the transactions or doing returns um, or modifying a transaction. When you press the export button, you'll get a screen that allows you to uh, filter by export. You also notice too that there's two different colors. Um, items that are, or transactions that are in black are um, actual transactions and the items that are in red are returns. So to do a new transaction, you'll just hit the Add button. After hitting Add, you'll have the top part automatically populate. You have your location, which will default to your gallery location. Uh, this is especially useful if you have multiple locations. You can select which location of the gallery that you're selling from. If you have a gallery in Texas or California, for example. You also have your date, which pre-populates. Uh, if you wanted to backdate a transaction, you can just click on the calendar and choose the previous date. Um, and then you have your tax type. Uh, your tax type will default to whatever you want it to. Um, if you wanted to change the tax types, you can always do the drop down, and you'll definitely want to set up your tax rates beforehand. Your transaction number automatically fills in once you save the transaction. Okay, so we're ready to start adding inventory. To do that, you'll click on the Find Item button. When you click on the Find Item button, another window appears where you can search for your inventory uh, via the Artist field, the Scan Code field, or the Title field. I'm just going to type in a couple letters and hit search. I'm going to search or, or sell this Birds of Paradise piece. Now notice when I selected the item, all the information about the piece came in, such as the scan code, the title, item type, uh, and price. Let's say I'm going to give the customer a discount. I'm going to give them a 10% discount. So I'm going to put a 10 right here and I'm going to press tab. Masterpiece automatically figures out 10% of 19,000 to 17,100. If you don't know the sales percentage, you can just put in the price. And Masterpiece will figure out the sales adjustment for you. You can also put in a vendor discount. So if this item is on consignment, um, you can choose whether the vendor is going to share in the discount or if you, the gallery is going to um, uh, eat the whole discount. So I'm not going to put anything in for the vendor discount, but I'm going to save this item to the transaction. So I'm just going to press this button and it's now saved to the grid. And basically, you'll just keep repeating the process for as many items that you're selling. I'm going to add a non-stock item called shipping. So I'm going to select shipping. And shipping is going to be, let's say, uh, $75. Let me go ahead and add one more item. I'm going to add a limited edition piece. I'm going to add this Moulin Rouge piece. So notice when I do a limited edition, you have a new box that appears where you can select the actual edition that you're going to sell. I only have two editions. I'm going to sell edition number nine. And then I'm going to save item to the transaction grid. Now, um, just to add one more item, let's say that I want to sell an item that is not in my inventory. That's what the quick sell button's for. So you can just go ahead and press the quick sell and then just type in the piece that you're going to sell. Masterpiece will automatically add this item to your inventory and then you can go back into your inventory and uh, uh, put in some more pertinent information such as the, uh, the consignment percentage, a picture, or the dimensions. Okay, so the next tab is your client. You don't have to put in customer information, uh, but the option is there. If it's a new customer, just go ahead and just start typing in the first name and last name and any other information and Masterpiece will automatically add this contact to your database. If the client is already in your database, you can type in the first few letters of the last name. When you select the contact, all the information about that customer comes in. You can also copy the address to the shipping address if you wanted. Next tab is the payment tab. This is where you record the actual payment information uh, in the transaction. So to do that, I'm going to uh, do something similar to the, find, to the uh, detail screen or tab, and I'm going to hit the add button. And we have a drop down for the pay types that you can choose. 
uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, uh, choose a couple different pay types just so I can show you the features. But let's say that I, um, I am going to put $2,000 in cash on this transaction because the customer just happened to have $2,000 in his back pocket. So I put in amount paid, $2,000, cash, and now money at save. And now let's say the customer is going to put in another $10,000 on his wife's Visa card. So I'm going to do Visa, I'm going to change the amount paid to $10,000, and I'm going to hit save. And now let's say that we're going to put the rest on installment. So I'm going to hit add, I'm going to change the cash to install. When you change the install, a calculator pops up where you could uh, have Masterpiece calculate how much they owe every month, every week, or semi-monthly. I'm just going to go, put, go ahead and put the whole thing on uh, installment. So I'm just going to calculate and done. So you can see here now that we have a history of how they paid and they owe $5,774. Um, and you can also see that in the balance in the lower right hand corner. So you could be done with this transaction and hit save and then print out a receipt or certificate of authentication. Or you could go to the notes tab and put in some notes about the contact, maybe some notes about the shipping, uh, like ship FedEx. Maybe you might want to put in the actual FedEx number. Um, and then maybe some uh, information about the actual transaction. Uh, so whatever you want to put in here. By default, the whatever you put in the transaction note will appear on the receipt. Although you could have any of these fields appear on the receipt or none of them, it's up to you. Masterpiece automatically records the staff member depending on who you're logged in as. If you wanted to change the staff member, you can always do the drop down and change it to a different staff. This is also how Masterpiece calculates your commission. Okay, so I'm done. I am going to go ahead and press the save button. So Masterpiece has now finalized this transaction. Now from here, I can print out a receipt or a certificate of authentication. If I do a certificate of authentication, this is what it could look like. Now all reports in Masterpiece are customizable, so you can make your certificate of authentication look any way you want. You can also print out a receipt by just doing the drop down and the receipt here. So you can see here that my receipt has a thumbnail for the items and the items that do not have thumbnails, uh, they don't show anything. Uh, and again, you can change your receipt to how any way you want. You can also export um, in the top right hand corner of the receipt. So you can export to a PDF, a CSV, Word, or a text file. So, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and save and close and the transaction has now been completed.